As he said on Christmas Day, a court in Beijing sentenced uh, Liu Xiaobo to 11 years uh, in prison and two years deprivation of political rights for exercising the right of free expression that he has not only under international law, but under the Chinese constitution. So as I said, he's been condemned to prison for 11 years for seven published sentences. Sentences, 224 Chinese characters. In, in, in the official verdict, the Beijing court cited the passages that they said were subversive. Some of them aren't full sentences, some of them are just phrases, and others are the titles of articles that he's written. Two of those sentences come from Charter 08, a manifesto calling for democratic reforms in China, which he helped to write, and which has been signed by hundreds of brave Chinese men and women. And the other five sentences are sentences that he posted on the internet. So today we're going to read all those seven subversive sentences. And we ask all of you here, and anyone who hears this appeal, to join us in our campaign. And I want to end by saying particularly to Liu Xiaobo himself, Old friend, we will not forget you. We will not rest until you are free. From Liu Xiaobo's 2006 articles, article, The Many Aspects of CPC Dictatorship. The CPC is the Communist Party of China. Thus, all of the tricks used by the Communist Party of China are stopgap measures for the dictators to preserve the last phase of their power and will not be able to support for long this dictatorial edifice that is already showing countless cracks. According to the Beijing number one intermediate people's court, one of Liu Xiaobo's offending passages is from his 2006 article, The Negative Effects of the Rise of Dictatorship on World Democratization. In its verdict, however, the court did not actually quote any passages from this article. From Liu Xiaobo's 2005 article, The CPC's Dictatorial Patriotism. Thank you. The official patriotism advocated by the CPC dictatorship is a fallacious system of substituting the party for the country. The essence of this patriotism is to demand that the people love the dictatorship, the one-party rule, and the dictators. It usurps patriotism in order to inflict disasters on the nation and calamities on the people. From Liu Xiaobo's 2007 article, further questions about child slavery in China's kilns. Since the Communist Party of China took power, generations of CPC dictators have cared most about their own power and least about human life. From Liu Xiaobo's 2006 article, can it be that the Chinese people deserve only party-led democracy? For the emergence of a free China, Placing hope in the ruler of a new deal is an idea far worse than placing hope in the continuous expansion of the new force among the people. From Charter 08, the December 10th, 2008 declaration calling for political reforms, greater human rights, and an end to one-party rule in China. One-party monopolization of ruling privileges should be abolished. Also from Charter 8, we need to establish China's Federal Republic under the structure of democracy and constitutionalism. Such events as this have been necessary for as long as I can remember. And PEN members uh, marched around the Czech Embassy to protest the jailing of Václav Havel uh, 20 years ago, we rose in judgment against the fatwa applied to Salman Rushdie. The attack is always directed to the creative mind, and when we take note, as we do today, it always seems to be snowing. <laughs> Liu Xiaobo's country has a sorry record of artist intimidation. China supposes to lead the world into the future, superpower, in the 21st century, but when it jails its people for their thought, it is marred in the past with the ghosts of emperors and dictators and kings, and along with military thugs and theocracies like Iran's that rings its elections and shoots down its people in the street. 
The civilization of China cannot lead when its revolutionary government simply changes the style of despotism. It can't move forward when its poets and writers and artists, its thinkers and intellectuals are muzzled and silenced. Under such conditions, the genius of a nation withers and dies. Lu Zhibo writes in the interest of a just enlightenment. That is not to slander or subvert or overthrow. It is to ask for constitutional realization, it is to ask for a country true to itself. And that's all that Lin Zhabo has done. And that's why we call for his release.